What's up guys? First of all, I finally reached 1000 subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and helping it grow. And thanks for your awesome comments I very often get to read under my videos. This is a big milestone for me and I hope this was just the beginning. This video today will be about some incredible mods that got released in the past weeks that you may have missed or overlooked. Some add remarkable new content, others improve the game in various ways. First up, I got quite the innovation to Fallout 4 that oddly enough wasn't added earlier to the game. After the shield framework was released 2 months earlier, now the first fully functional shield mods are coming. Shield Integration Project implements a few law-friendly shields to the world that add a new way of fighting. Those shields are integrated into the leveled list or can be found around the commonwealth. These are capable of blocking melee attacks as well as bullets or lasers. You can also use this shield as a melee weapon by dashing. A very alternating style of fighting that leads to more unique encounters. For more detailed information, check out the mod page. The second one today adds a large impressive underground dungeon to the wasteland. Nordic Europa is a secretive research facility situated deep underground, once home to bright minds researching nuclear science, biology and alternative energy. A dungeon mod consisting of 6 large interiors filled with lore, loot, easter eggs and enemies with an emphasis on good performance and nice looking lighting, as well as embracing the sciencey feel of Fallout with unique interiors and props. The dungeon is intended for higher level characters. The entrance to this dungeon is located near Cambridge Police Station, which also is marked on the map. The advanced hacker perk at least is required to enter. A very immersive mod that also comes in small size data. Most of you watching aren't actually subscribers as you can see here. So if you like my content and want to help my channel grow, I'd be glad if you consider subscribing. It's completely free. Retexture for turrets, seen some <coughs> makes the turrets look like they have been in use for quite a while. A beautiful retexture that comes with a lot of rust and scratches in 1K, 2K and 4K quality. Another retexture that has a larger impact on the game is called Retro Institute Overhaul. This changes the institute location to a more gloomy area with overall darker textures that have a more retro and metallic look to it. This way the institute looks less sterile and fits the style of atom punk or retro futurism that Fallout 4 is themed of much more. There also are some changes in color and the lighting. Again, this mod should have been released much earlier in the life of Fallout 4. Staying with the institute, the next huge mod of today's video overhauls the complete weaponry of this faction. The institute technology overhaul adds over 30 new weapons to the game that are implemented in a unique and reasonable way. First of all, the munitions mod is required for this overhaul to work properly because it makes use of new types of ammo. There are many kinds of different styled weapons such as mini weapons, assault rifles, SMGs, sniper rifles, rocket launchers, heavy and unique weapons and many more. Now, the important aspect of this mod is that it comes in two versions. The light version that only adds these weapons to the leveled list as well as some new crafting benches for these called the Institute Fabrication Station and the Jury Rigging Station. And the full version that not only implements these weapons to the game but also do that in a well thought out new system. But note, for this version a completely new game has to be started to work properly. These weapons can be obtained from institute members also only used by them, because all of these weapons are equipped with a biometric scanner. If you're not a member of the institute, the weapon can self-destruct when you're trying to use it, or can lock itself. In case the second occurs, you have the option to decode that lock, or if you can't, jerry-rig it, meaning modifying the weapon to make it usable. To be able to unlock unique weapons or jury rig, you have to find special magazines in the wasteland. A very extensive mod that adds a lot of new law friendly content. In case you want a full review of this mod, I recommend you to check out the mod page or watch Dex video. 
Tamba Jumbas Radar Power Armor. It's a new set of radar power armor to the game that comes in two variants, standard and heavy. The so-called Cage Breaker Armor comes with its own unique stats and appearance and is slightly better than the vanilla radar power armor. This armor is not integrated into the leveled list but can be obtained by three unique raiders that are located at the Rivera Beach Station, the Roadside Pines Motel and Leighton Towers. A very cool looking power armor that fits perfectly into the game. Next up is a very useful tweak that makes you save some time. There have been similar mods before, but they all come with minor issues or downsides. Faster Workbench Exit does exactly what it says and works perfectly fine. No more annoying waiting when entering and leaving workbenches. Lastly, I got a fun unique weapon mod that comes from no one else than the popular author Deadpool2099, who finally released a mod after 5 years. He's also the one who made many famous mods such as the Service Rifle I also featured in my Assault Rifle mod video here. Funny enough, he released it on April 1st and that for a reason. The Simpsons gun is a meme gun that was featured in the Simpsons show that represents a revolver being reloaded with a magazine. The special thing about this mod is that this weapon comes in a cartoony cell shading look just like in the show. It's not integrated into the leveled list but can be crafted at the chem bench. It also comes with some attachments, some of them are quite unique and overpowering. A very cool April Fool's joke that you may have missed. Those were a few unique mods that were released in the last weeks that you may have missed and definitely should take a look at. Here you can check out my last video or how you can make your game run a lot smoother and stable. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like this video. Until next time.